guys, it's Demonless here and today we are going to be looking at the best restaurants to get reservations for at Disney World Florida. So let's get into it. Tusker House Restaurant offers African and American buffet style dining, situated in Disney's Animal Kingdom. It is an open air eatery with a safari setting, enjoyable for all. Such items on the menu are Piri Piri whole salmon, basmati rice and spiced vegetable tofu. Chef Mickey's offers American dining featuring the Disney characters at Disney's Contemporary Resort. It is the most popular place to eat breakfast in Disney if you have a large budget. It offers buffet style with such items on the menu as pancakes with maple syrup, fruits and carved ham with sweet and spicy sauce. Afternoon tea at Garden View Tea Room offers British teas and scones at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. Depending on the tea you select, the price can vary. The cheapest tea is $35 per guest and the most expensive tea is $175 per guest. The first course for this tea is Northern American Caviar. For children aged 3 to 9, they can do a Mrs. Potts tea with PB&J sandwiches and a special black tea which is actually chocolate milk for only $20 per guest. Also at the Grand Floridian is the Victorian Alberts which offers fine and American dining. This restaurant is Disney's most highly rated restaurant with it being 5 out of 5 stars on TripAdvisor. The restaurant is not for children but rather for wealthy people as the menu is 5 courses long and each dish is over $35 with the most expensive meal, caviar, being $210. Hollywood and Vine offers buffet style meals with character dining at Disney's Hollywood Studios. I have personally eaten here twice and both times we had to reserve a table, so reserving is a must. At breakfast you meet the characters from Disney Junior, while at dinner you meet Mickey and friends. Such things on the menu are cheesy potato casserole, hickory smoked bacon and mango barbecue pork. Also at Hollywood Studios, there is the Sci-Fi Dining Theatre restaurant, offering American dining, which is laid out with the tables built into cars facing a theatre screen. This is to mimic the 50s for their famous drive-in theatres. They offer such food as onion rings, New York strip steak and vegetarian shepherd's pie. Cinderella's Royal Table offers fine character American dining at Magic Kingdom in Fantasyland. The price tag can be high end, but the experience is worth it. On the Disney website, they highly recommend reserving, and you can do so up to 180 days prior to your visit. They offer food such as pork two ways, chef's fish of the day, and pan seared all natural chicken. The Crystal Palace offers character buffet American dining at Magic Kingdom's Main Street, USA. As said before, the price tag can be high end, but the experience is well worth it. The whole place is made out of glass, and depending where you sit, you can clearly see the castle from your table. They offer such food as roasted carved meats, freshly made soup, and pill and eat shrimp. Lastly, the Hoop De Doo Musical Review, which is a dinner show that offers American dining including cornbread, fried chicken, barbecue beans and much more. You can find this show at the campsite at Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort, which is a short boat ride from Disney's Magic Kingdom Boat Depot. I have personally been here and shall be going again on my next trip. The whole atmosphere is based on the western and cowboy era. Depending on when your holiday is in the year, you can normally get reservations one or two months in advance on the Walt Disney World website. If you are staying at a Disney resort, you can book up to six months in advance. I highly recommend this if you decide to go to any of the restaurants mentioned in this video. Thanks for watching. Be cool. Stay cool. See you real soon.